Hello, my name is Christine Barnoel, and I have the pleasure today to introduce you to two incredibly talented and accomplished artists. They have both achieved world champion status in the dance industry and have proven that they bring knowledge and dedication to everything they do. For them, the pandemic was not a time of fear and uncertainty, but a redirection. It gave them the time they needed to dedicate to the next chapter of their work that was just waiting to begin. These two have created a powerful name for themselves in the industry of ballroom dancing, and now they're ready to share their passions and champion work ethic with the world. So without further ado, it's my honor to introduce you to Yulia Neal, formerly known as Yulia Baranovsky, and Louis Barr. All right, Yulia, we're going to start with you because ladies first. Well, thank you. <laughs> so in one sentence. <laughs> Tell me what you do and how you serve your clients. I'm a visual artist and painter, and I help successful people like you and you to have a unique experience of them through my painting in motion. Fabulous. Yeah. And Louis, what do you do and how do you serve your clients? Well, I help the people to find the war factor. By finding the war factor, they stand out in the crowd and become leader in their field. Amazing. So how did you do this with Yulia? What is Yulia's wow factor? Well, um, you know, you have a lot of uh, artists, some painter, you know, and all style above all today because, you know, you can just uh, throw something on the, on the canvas and it looks like you have a uh, painting things done, you know. But this is not the case with Yulia. Yulia, when I, when I saw a, a, a painting, I was so mesmerized and so amazed. Then that was already right away the wow factor. And so let me explain to you exactly how it works, because I have a little bit of an example right there. Um, you take a picture right there. This is a, a picture of Serena Williams, you know, in action, frozen in time, right? And so this is, and watch this, this is how that picture and how Julia can put back the picture live in motion. Can you see this? That's painting in motion. And this is what Yulia can do. She, want, she can recreate the motion of the frozen picture. And I'm absolutely amazed by that. For me, that's a wow factor. That reminds me a little bit, you see, as you see the painting right there, that reminds me a little bit about, about Monet. You know, the, it's, a, it's a 21 century Monet artist. That's what I think she is. Yulia, your work is amazing. Can you explain to us how you create these masterpieces and the inspiration behind your work? Masterpieces. <laughs> so. I, I look for, for life and movement uh, to focus on when I paint. And the process begins by selecting the right photo. Mm -hmm. um, I work with a lot of dancers, uh, sports people, people who are in action at what they love doing. So it's very important for me when I see the photo that I select that has the right emotion and the feeling of energy and movement. And then, it's just uh, using the right technique of brush strokes, you know, to enhance that movement, the energy that comes from the angle of the position of the person, and the color palette that suggests a certain mood and emotional state that they're in. And that's magic. I love that. <laughs> and clearly it works because you create yeah. amazing things. Thank you. Um, so tell us more about your experience working with Louis. What made you guys decide to work together? So. Uh, I've known Louis for a very long time in our ballroom world, and he's a fascinating person, as many know. Uh, but I only got to know him a little bit closer when I moved to Vegas. And uh, one of the things that I discovered is that he's also a business coach for professional, passionate, creative people like myself. And at that time, it was during the pandemic, uh, I was looking for a mentor to help my art business to thrive and to go in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And he came, <laughs> ask and you receive. That's it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we had a lot of meetings and uh, we joke about it, but he served me the best coffee of my life that cost me $1,000. <laughs> Cause his session was $1,000 at a time and it's the best coffee ever guys. Uh, but joking aside, he gave me the right direction. And also, uh, we discussed what are my goals are, you know, how he can help guiding me. And every time he was prepared with a clear plan of action, great assignments, and just pushing my boundaries and limitation because I couldn't see things from my perspective the way he would shine it, you know, shine the light on. So every week, and we've been working for 
I don't know, almost six months now. Oh, Every yeah. week I've uh, seen results and I'm moving closer and closer to achieving my goals. So I love working with him. He's amazing. Thank so that's you. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Here. And a good friend. Yeah, I love that. Well, Louis, Louis it sounds like you have created such a life-changing experience for you, Leah. Um, how can you produce these results for other people as well? Well, like I said, the, the, the major thing is that a lot of people, everybody, every single of human being has a wow factor. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, a lot of people look for that for the rest of their life, you know. Uh, when I say wow factor, some people call that uh, a, a talent, okay, mm -hmm. the unique talent. But the wow factor, it's web that the people, remember wow is a, is a, is a positive connotation, and it says, wow. This is amazing. It's a, it's a reaction. It's a reaction. Right. It's a reaction. And when you see a wow, you want to know more. That's the reason sometimes people spend hours on the internet because they wow by just one, a 30 seconds TikTok thing sure. and they look at things. So if you can, uh, when I when I work with people, I find the wow factor. I try to, to understand where they come from. What is the passion? What is the skill? Mm. And we combine all that. And what is the dream? And when I combine all that together and, and I get the truth for them, uh, from them, I actually can plan something and I say, okay, so this is your passion, this is what you can do, and this is what you want to be. So, wow. so now, what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to organize a plan for you and we're going to see if you're interested, we can work together and I'm going to organize step by step mm -hmm. how to go and make those dream, dream come true with the skill and with your passion. And Love that. That's amazing. I mean, you guys make an incredible team. Thank you. So, Thank you. And so she's amazing. Yeah. So share with us what's the secret sauce to a healthy work relationship. Yeah, teamwork is essential for this process because both of us would like to win at what we love doing and be successful. So by helping each other uh, helps us to work together trust and respect each other's opinions mm -hmm. and brainstorm together and everything is a together. I have to be responsible for my part. Lou is responsible for his part. Nobody's pushing each other's, um, not boundaries, but nobody's breathing down each other's neck, so to speak, but allowing the other person to complete the work that they need to complete. Right. There's a trust there. There's a trust for sure. Yes, Just like trust. in dance, in the partnership, you have to trust your partner right. in order to move in the same direction. And we both want to win. That's right. That's it. That's so, it. champion yeah. mindset. Champion mindset. Yeah. We, we, we're winners. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I yeah. love that. Well, you know, we have a lot of uncertainty in the world today. You know, so how can you help people right now? Um, Louis, I'm going to start with you. How can you help people kind of take advantage or create new opportunities in the world when we're not quite sure what the future holds? Well, you know, she just... She just talked about teamwork. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, a, a lot of people don't understand that if they try to do everything on their own, mm -hmm. they are going nowhere. Because um, there's a, a, a say, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going you're gonna to get what you used to get. Right. And that's the same thing. Same so, action, same result. Yes, it's same action, same result. So um, the first thing is, you know, I don't know. And, and please, if you know one, you tell me, guys. I don't know one Olympic champion, not one on the planet, mm -hmm. who, has, who is Olympic champion without a coach. Sorry. So whatever you do, whatever you want to do, what is, is it about singing, but is it about artists, is it about internet, because so many people on the internet, find a coach who's going to help you and give you some different opinion. You know? I mean, um, she, she's amazing, but the way she was thinking about herself is, is I think about her 10 times more than when she really is because she is spectacular. Right. And so she has a different point of view. And when I work with her, that's the way, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that, I think that's, that's, a, that's very important. You know, um, I always say that if you always try to be normal, you're never going to know how amazing you can be. Mm. Love that. Thank you. Love that. So, Yulia, same question for you, you know, with this uncertain time, what is your advice to people on how to take advantage of opportunities or, or just create them in general? I think create them in general, yeah. for sure. I think today it's so important that we stop and think about who we are today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but today, right now. And what kind of life do we want to live? And that's, those are the questions I was asking myself 
during the shutdown and reevaluating the situation. Um, if we don't continue to move, we stop and we die. Right. So it's life is in constant motion and so we are. So we have to keep moving forward, guys. Take little actions every day to figure out what it is that makes you happy and take steps and find the right coach. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I like the idea of the, 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 the concept of a moving forward. Yeah. You know, things when you're on your bicycle, the only reason you can absolutely drive the bicycle is not because you're standing, it's because you're moving. Yeah. And if you're done moving, yeah. the bicycle will fall. That's right. That's right. You know? That's right. Yeah. So thank you both for being here and for sharing your passion, not just with me, but with the world. Thank you. And for those of you watching, uh, I hope that you've learned a little bit of what it takes to have a champion mindset and how you can apply that to every area of your life. And if you want to reach out to Yulia and Louie for anything that they offer, um, this is how you do it.